yo what up guys all right so in this video we're gonna focus on creating notes um so without waste, wasting any time let's just get to it so the first thing i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna close this then i'm gonna come here and create a new activity so again it's gonna be an empty activity then we're gonna name this create notes right okay so first thing we're gonna do is come here within the notes um what you call it um activity right i'm gonna change this to linear layout backgrounds I want this to be light gray orientation is going to be vertical padding it's going to be 20 dp and then within here we're only going to need about two fields the title and the body so that's what we're going to be looking at so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create um, let's say i'm going to start with the layout uh, it's going to match the parent and then wrap content Let's add the text input field. going to copy this because it's going to be plus minus the same with a slight difference
okay so I need to give these IDs um, Now let's add the button. So this needs an ID as well. All right, so let's instantiate these elements. So we need, so I'm not gonna do validations on this one. I'm pretty much, you saw how I did it with the login um, when we were working on the login screen. Um, you'll see more of it when we work with the registration um, page but for this one I'm just gonna leave it out and then you know but yeah um. do we need here let's just add the request queue as well
Okay, and then the last one should be the button. Um, So um, this is where in below here we're gonna create um, the method where we're gonna that we're gonna use to create the node. So end of on create node method. Okay, so <coughs> how we're going to create a node is pre we're pretty much going to use again the, the, the volley library, but this time around we're only going to use what they call a string request. So because after we create the node, the only response that we need is to is the um, node created successfully. Like if you see here on the on the API when we created this node, this is the only response we need. So we don't need to use a JSON object request or a JSON array request and things like that. So first, I'm going to get the text, uh, the, 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 what you call it, uh, the values. I'm just going to name this title. So now let's uh, let's initiate the string request uh, object. This is going to be a post request and then so look I'm practically going to take this URI here and I'm going to extend I'm going to set it up right within the method because in the last video for some reason um, it didn't want to work when I tried to um, what you call it um, when I tried to use that custom class that we created So we're going to say URI. Okay. So here we're going to say new response error listener. And then in here we're just going to do the toast again.
right so now um, let's see let's see let's see so now we need two more methods we have to create these curly braces right before the closing I mean the semicolon and then here we're gonna say get params right so it's a method within the um, this again um, volley uh, objects right so here we're gonna say map Okay, so now we're going to say params, and then remember, this is expecting a title and a body. So we, ha we have to keep, we have to name them uh, as is. So we're going to say put title, and then we're going to take the title that we set up right, right here at the top. And then we're going to do the same thing for the, for the body. right and then here we're going to return all right so um the other thing that we need to do is send a response header or the re the headers all right so Remember, we instantiated our preferences here. So down here, right after the um, get params method, let me actually put a comment here. So if I did not explain, um, this method over here is basically the, me the method that the application is going to execute to post the, um, the, 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 the title and the, and the body that is going to be retrieved from the, the the two fields that we created here so this is the method that you use to post this information so here we're gonna now get the headers right so we say get headers so same thing just type it out and then the intelligence will pick it up if you're using IntelliJ right so here we're gonna say string string and then what do we need to do now now we need to get the I'm gonna put it up here string token will equal to preferences dot get string and then obviously the string name is token all right so now we're gonna put these uh, this parameter so we're gonna say headers dot put so this is going to be authorization space plus or we'll concatenate the token all right so that's pretty much it and then here we just need to return the headers Now we can say request queue. Okay, so <coughs> now um, let's see. We need to create that method to send the user to the success. Um, activity that we created in the previous video so public void go to so intent uh, 
what is this one? Create. So if successful, um, here within the response, the only thing we can do uh, up here is we can do a toast. We don't need to, but I'm just going to add it. Toast. And then here we're going to say note. Again, we don't need to create it, but let's just add it. And then here we just say go to success, right? Um, so, oh wait, I'm actually supposed to response. Uh, actually, no, it's fine. If you want to, we can say log dot i. So we can just log that within the within the terminal. All right. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope everything is correct here. Um, now we just need to hook it up to the to the button. So we're gonna say create dot set on click listener, and then here we're gonna say new. And then we can just execute that create no new notes method. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So now I'm just gonna install the application. I hope everything is is in order. I'm gonna install that application again onto my machine and then um, I mean onto my phone and then we're gonna test and see once the, the application is done building. One moment for me again, please. All right, guys, I've stopped the installation. There's one last thing I forgot to do. So, fine. Um, I didn't create the um, the method. The I didn't hook the button on the main activity to go to this um to this uh to the create activity um uh, create note activity. So let's just quickly hook that up. So um. Let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, main activity. And then somewhere down here, I'll just create that method. Um, you know what, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy this. Don't wanna keep rewriting it. I might as well just do it up here. I'm also not going to add the finish um, meth uh, method over here because um, I want it so that when this user go clicks the arrow to go back, it goes to the um, main activity again. So what I need to do is copy this here. So I came to the manifest file, which is under the manifest folder. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go to the create notes activity and paste it there. So then th on the action bar, that arrow will then appear. And then when the user clicks it back, they'll go back to the uh, main activity. So let's save that. I'm going to close that. So now let's create, let's make it so that the create note button here, um, let's set the on click listener for that. So I'm just going to come here and say create note button dot set. right new 
and then we can say go to create notes hopefully that's all um, let's just recreate the application again I'm gonna pause it then I'm gonna come back and test alright so the application is done installing so let's just quick let me quickly open it up it's alright um, so I'm gonna click on my application alright so those are our notes so when I click the the button here it should take us to the create note screen okay it has all right so let's just create a note um, new note from Jane 2024 just a test note so let's create Okay, note created successfully. Hopefully it has. When we return to the main activity, it should show us the new note that was created. So let's click return. And there you have it. So initially we had three notes. Now we have four notes. And then if I come back to the to to the database here, if I click there. So as you can see, we have a new note displaying there. So it looks like we did everything fine without any glitches or issues so so yeah um like i said i didn't do any validations um I, like I, like i said you'll see more of that of how you can implement validations when we get to the registration part um, we've already done it with the login screen but yeah if we can use the exact same procedure we used or when we were creating the login activity to create validations on this one as well but yeah i didn't want to take too long um, because I mean it's two simple fields and so yeah so at least now we can create notes oh by the way I didn't I forgot to show you so when you go to the create notes and then you click that arrow back it takes you back to the main activity um, and it does this because right now we are authenticated but again you'll you'll get to see um, what happens when after you create the note whether or not on the success success activity does it take us to the registration I mean to the login or the main activity okay so let me end the video here um, in the next video we should work on when we click on one of these notes it should take us to the um, note detail activity in fact if I click it I want to see what happens okay so it does actually work but because we haven't set it up and configured it yet um, it doesn't show um, it doesn't it doesn't uh, well it doesn't show it shows it but um, obviously it's gonna say my application so let's just um, let's see yeah it actually still works okay that's fine so I think in the next video we'll work on displaying notes and then we'll create a button to delete the note as well all right guys thank again thanks again for watching um, I'm gonna end the video here and then um, I'll be seeing you guys within the next video thanks again cheers for now